Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Chris Fisiel RC Garage. Uh, I know it's been a little while, so this will be a little update. Um, I basically just redid all the diffs in this, in my low C5B. Um, I put the, uh, I mean, I've had them for a while, I just haven't done it yet. I was going to wait for winter. Obviously, it's winter now. Um, I put the mod uh, bearing kit in there for the, the carrier bearings. Um, I did put, um, I tried to do this a lot on my, uh, low C's, uh, Baja 5B, uh, axle boots. They usually fit pretty good on, on these. So I did that. Um, I put, uh, what I ended up doing, I did 1 million in the rear, 1 million in the center, and then 500k in the front. So I've never done that before, so we'll see how that goes. Um... I did take off the, uh, I don't know, I keep my stuff pretty clean, but I had uh, the Grafali, uh, like, mud guards on there. I found so much, like, dirt and crud caked up in there because, you know, there's no um, air movement through it. So I'm going to run it like this, see how it is. Um, so like I said, I just got done uh, doing all of them. Um, also did... Uh, the titanium turnbuckles throughout. Um, if you guys need a part number for those, here's the old ones. Uh, there you go. I'll tell you what, one of these titanium turnbuckles doesn't even come close. I mean, all those turnbuckles don't even come close to one of these. So, and then also I had, uh, for the Servo saver uh, arm. I had a TLR uh, alloy lightened one that I had lying around, so I put that on there. So she's ready to go. Uh, look at that. Digital calipers out. How do you like that? <laughs> um, but yeah, she turned out good. Um, you know, the flu is pretty new on here. I just never went that thick on this one. Uh, so we'll see how it goes with the uh, 500 in the front. Also, I got I put the axle boots on these. Now the front ones on these are a little different than the five T's, so we'll see. I might have to put a zip tie in there to hold those on because uh, I don't know, it's hard to see in there. But these ones stand pretty good. But these are kind of like the lightened ones or whatever. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, this thing's ready to go. Um, that's about, oh, and I did put the uh, Dark Soul. Uh, extenders on here I think they're like a half inch or something like that ballpark in there so I like how this turned out so I uh I mentioned in the last couple of videos I believe that I was getting a a new Baja <clears throat> so I got uh, a big shout out to my uh, buddy Rob if it's or bust um he sold me his uh roller Baja um and remember I told you I had that my 65 Supreme so I'm putting that in the box. I'll show you what I how it looks, what I did to it. Uh, it's got some red uh, accent to it. Uh, I put the Tony Green pipe in there. Um, basically, I got to this whole thing. Um, I uh, it had symmetrical steering. And I got rid of the symmetrical steering. I put the uh, heavy duty uh, turtle servo saver in there. New uh, steering servo. Um, did I do this thing? Oh, when I got it, uh, it had a bonehead rear chassis brace. If you guys remember my uh, rant video, so I went with the modified RC um, right there. But I went through this whole thing. Um, this Baja is very similar to my 46 Baja. Uh, just besides this, get just this that. This has a 65 Supreme set of a 46 GT. Um, oh, and this one has all the RC Max locker, um, black bone gears, all you know, all the bells and whistles on it. Um, what else did I do to this thing? I don't know. Basically, I took it all apart. Basically, um, I do have, like I said, it had push pull steering. Um, I didn't get to drive it, but I didn't like the slop in it. Um, you know, so I, I put that on there, and then obviously I had to get different uh, Fonzie turnbuckles, um, just extended turnbuckles for the uh, 
F L arm, F L M arms. Um, it's got IRCs in the rear uh, shocks. I'm probably gonna put IRCs in the front. Uh, I think these are a little, little too springy. Um, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, it does have the uh, red arrow front hubs. Uh, a little tech tip if you guys. Um, when I got this, it only had one arm kind of on. Rob was just got him and put one on just for fitment issues. It did have the IRP um, ball joints on here, or the upper ball joints, whatever. They did not work good. They left the arms like completely, completely sh uh, straight. So I think the FLM ones work way better with the the red arrow hubs. Um, obviously, I haven't started up. I still got to do the uh, fuel lines. Um, but yeah, she's almost ready to go. Um, like I said, this is my my sixty five Supreme I had. So this should this thing should be a monster. Um, but this you know this Baja is built for it. So uh, it's got the red IRC chassis. Um, I can't remember the gearing. I think it was like 26 something, I think. Don't quote me on that. I'll have to look. Um, I left uh, the same. Um, man, if you guys are looking for a good budget price, uh, fast throttle servo, that Roven right there, that thing is fast. I'm really surprised, even with a nickel metal high drive battery. Um, <clears throat> you know, I got to put the filter on there and stuff, but. Uh, She's pretty much almost ready, just besides the fuel lines, kill switch done, all that stuff. Even the endpoints are done. Um, I might, I still might, like I said, I might put uh, IRCs in the front down here. Um, I do have a uh, bonehead uh, wheelie bar I gotta put on here, because obviously this thing's gonna need it. Um, what else did I do? Oh, it had a uh, bonehead rear shock tower, like, uh, like that one in there. Um, I want the RC Max one. Um, what else? What else? What else? I don't know. Uh, this pipe was a. I don't know if anybody's used this pipe. It's supposed to be really, really good uh, for like fifties and up or something like that. They said. So I ended up needing. I needed a pipe anyway. So I went with this one instead of the side pipe. Uh, but I'll tell you what, Fitman was, wasn't too bad. It didn't look like it was going to fit. But, uh, you know, because they give you the rubber mounts and all that. Um, but it fit good. Uh, air filter is going to be a little tight. I know some people ran, um, like, silicone, high-temp silicone hose, like you'd use for, like, turbo cars. They put them up higher over the pipe with a filter. So, I don't know. We'll see. I've seen that before. But then I've seen people run normal ones because this one's got a 990 rooster on there so it's not as big like when you do the wj71 uh you know it'd probably stick out a little farther um so i think i think the the regular um i'll have to call it the ram air filter or whatever the normal rc max filter you'd get i think it'll fit good um but rob if you're watching this i just want to say uh Really do appreciate it, bud. Uh, glad we were able to work out a deal on it. Um, but this thing was mint. Um, I just took it apart for my own peace of mind or some things, you know. I wanted to loop up the diff, you know, just, you know, my own little stuff to it. Um, the only thing I didn't do to this one, that I, didn't, I, didn't take a, I didn't take the shock fluid out. That's about it. Um, I got it with the front skinnies, the red ones, and then, uh, RC Max, or Taylor RC had that RC Max reband, uh, rebranding thing going on. So I got the rear red ones for, I don't know, like 50 bucks off or something like that. So I picked those up. Um, you know, it's funny cause I'm not, my, my, you know, my friends know I'm not a big red fan, but, uh, this red is definitely growing on me. Definitely growing on me. And Rob, I left some stickers on there for you, bud. Um, so she should be a monster because the the 46 uh, Baja is a monster. Like I said, they're, they're very similar vehicles. Um, 
just a smaller motor in this one. Um, and then the, the hubs and stuff in the front shocks, but very similar vehicle. Um, I will tell you what also what I scored on. I've been looking for one of these for like five years. And a good friend of mine had one, sold it a while ago to one of his friends. And I was talking or whatever. He's like, hey, I think my buddy would sell it. Um, I did get our original uh, TSK uh, Class 1 Baja cage. Um, now, the original plan, which still might happen, because I didn't want two Bajas pretty much the same with, like, Team Chase. This one's a real Team Chase. This one's uh, That one's a Roven one. Um, but it's got the BDR bash bar, which I do have for this. I just haven't put it on. But I didn't want two Bajas. Two big Bajas looking pretty much exactly the same. Um, that's why I really jumped on that one because uh, it is it is red. It's different. So I was thinking about putting this on there. Um, but a good buddy of mine runs a big bore in his. And you got to chop up the cage pretty good. Like you got to remove this. This is for like where they would have the old uh, the fueler kit. The Kraken fueler kit. So you got to cut all this out. Um, and then like this bar has got to come out. Like what he ended up doing was cutting this bar and then laying it this way for support. But pretty much you got to cut all this out, you know, and these, uh, these cages are pretty rare. So I haven't decided if I'm going to do that or not. Um, and it's got some really rare stuff. Like they all come with these mounts, but this one's the, the metal mounts. Um, most of them are plastic. Hang on a second. I don't want to drop it. So anyways, um, I got the front bumper and all that stuff and the, the side guards. So what I was thinking, I might put this on my 5SC because I won't have to cut anything. Um, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. And then just leave this the way it is. Let me know what you guys think. Should I cut it? Because if I cut it out, I mean, you could still use it for either or. Uh, it's just, you know, it's just a super rare cage. They're hard to come by. Like I said, I've been looking for one for like five years. So, I mean, you could still run on either or. I just didn't want to, you know, destroy it basically or change it up or whatever. Keep it the way it was. Um... Oh, what else did I say? Oh, yeah. And also, uh, from buddy Rob, I got some uh, Genesis for these two. Uh, all four. Blue. They look good. Uh, I know John's going to see this. Big John D. Look at that. Still left it on there, bud. The front one and the back one for you. Sorry, it's an inside joke. Um, But uh, what was I going to say? Anything else on this? I don't think so. Uh, that's about it. But like I said, I had this thing in pieces. Um, the only thing I said I didn't uh, rebuild, basically, just because it is it has not much runtime on it anyways, but uh, the shock fluid. So I'll see how it goes. And then if I am getting the IRCs in the front, then I'll switch it to what I normally switch them to. Because I like the way my uh, 46 runs with the setup. Um... But I think that's about it. Um, just a little update, you know, something quick. I haven't done anything in a while. Um, but yeah, after all, I wasn't a huge fan of the red, but I don't know, it's different and I kind of really like it. Um, and, you know, I'm happy it is red, so it's not the, not, not that it's bad having two of the same, but, you know, I just want to switch it up a little bit, you know. Um, and the only other thing, I'm not sure if I'm going to, See, I didn't put the one on there because I was going to do the uh, the cracking cage on here. Um, here, I can show you the bumper. It's got a light bar. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Keep you guys too long. Mm, see, I got another BDR bash bar. Where did I put that? Aha. See, here's all the, the package with it. You know. So, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, these basically, everybody knows, I'm sure. But I just don't know if I want to really cut it up. You know, basically, this will go up in there like that. 
you know, just give a little bit more grunt, I guess, instead of like the 5SC bumper. Um, or let me know if you guys think I should just throw it on there, you know? Um, yeah, you guys, you guys decide, give me some ideas. You know, and even if I do cut it, I could still run it on here, you know, or cut and just run it on here. It's not like I'm going to switch bodies like crazy, um, you know. And then I kind of like the 5SC, like the, the short course body. I know it's dusty. But, uh, yeah, I think it looks good with the blue wheels and stuff. Um, so pretty much... Uh, Almost everything's pretty much ready to go. Like, I just finished this. I literally just finished it. The fluids are out. Um, you know. Uh, if anybody needs these, I know they're not that expensive, but these are way nicer than the, the stock 5T ones. The 5Bs are nice. So if anybody needs these, let me know. Um, or, uh, you know, steel turnbuckles or whatever for a 5B. Let me know. Um, but I'm telling you, all, all, uh, six of these weigh less than like literally one of these. So, so if you guys weight loss wise, I think it's a pretty good move, but, um, I don't know. I got them on a good deal. They were brand new. Um, I just didn't do them cause I knew I was going to eventually do the diffs on these anyways. Um, these are titaniums. I had these for a while already on here, but, uh. So, we'll see. I only got this one out a little bit last year with the break-in and stuff, you know. Um, but she should do good. So, but that's it, guys. Uh, just a little update uh, to show you a new member, member of the family, if I could speak right. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll uh, definitely look forward to getting this one out. Um We'll see how she does. I still got to put the, like I said, the wheelie bar on and stuff. And then the hybrid's all good to go. I think I said that in the last video. Like, everything's done on this one. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do, which is cosmetic, I got some uh, bonehead uh, number plates. Like these ones. These aren't boneheads. These are uh, extreme, I believe they are. So, so yeah, it's the first time in a long time uh, my winter projects are kind of done early. Um, oh, yeah, that's what... I got a couple things coming on this, just uh, like a gasket rebuild kit, um, a shortened pull start uh, extension because it's got a really long one. I don't know if you guys can see us, it's super long. Uh, the short one's like half the size of that. Um, I did get the new uh, 40 um, billet cooling head. I also got it in black. Um, instead of th these ones are going uh, like on an angle, the 40s go this way. Uh, you know, straight. Um, man, I think that's about it. Oh, and I got a new, uh, the red uh, ALX filter for it. That should be here this week. Um, so I'll probably do that. I just wanted to uh, change all the gaskets, the velocity stack gaskets, so forth. So I kind of got like a rebuild kit. Um, I think he even gave me like head, the head gasket for it and stuff like that. I don't know if I'm going to do that, but I'll change the the cooling head. I mean, this motor is brand new. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, you know, if you guys want to know what gearing, I can look it up. I forget. It's the gearing I ran on the, the hybrid when I had the 65 in here. What is, I don't know, 2648 maybe? Something like that? I don't know. I get it confused. Um, I don't know. If you guys are curious, let me know. So... Definitely excited about this one because, uh, like I said, I, I really like how the 46 uh, Baja runs. I mean, it's a wheelie monster, so this thing is going to be uh, more than that, I'm sure. So, um, Also, I do have the, uh, I think I showed it in the last video, I do have the RC Max billet uh, side rails. So I might put those on there. I'm not running any on this one. The only one I'm running them on is the 5SC. So... I don't know. But like I said, let me know what you guys think if I should uh, um, cut that up or not. I mean, you wouldn't really see it, you know. It's just basically that whole uh, 
this whole portion. Like I said, this is where they used to have the uh, Kraken um, fueling system so you can fuel it with leaving the body on. You know, it has the a plate and a little filler thing and then a tube goes down to the gas cap. So, because I mean, this thing's in really good shape. Um, you know, it's supposed to look like that. Um, and then obviously I'll take out the spare tire thing. I don't run those. Uh, it just, I came with it. So basically it'd be cut out this whole thing here. And then, uh, I think it's just this. My buddy sent me pictures, but I think it's just this that's got to come out. And I tried putting this on, on this one. It's the same kind of issue with the pipe fitment. Um, you know, they hit right, right in the ear, this chunk. So it would definitely work with a small bore. That's what I was thinking, not to chop it up and put it on my 5SC, but you know, we'll see. Let me know what you guys think. A uh, little, little dilemma on that. Um, and go from there. All right, guys. Well, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll try to, I don't know, I got to find more projects to do. <laughs> this is like the first time I'm uh, pretty much done. And I know I didn't get any videos of this. Um, not that there was any issues with it, but I just had a, you know, it was a lot of uh, elbow grease and, you know, just doing the stuff the way I wanted to do it. But again, I just want to say, uh, Rob, the scalar bust, I really do appreciate it, bud. Um, you know, I know you'll see her run. Um, and I'm sure she's going to be one of my favorites. So, all right, guys. Thanks. Bye.